For today, we have a Tabata workout, so 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. For Browns, um, I'm going to be doing mostly kickboxing movements. So we'll start with a warm up walking high knees. Butt kicks. Jumping jacks. Running high knees, butt kicks, jumping jacks, high knees again, butt kicks, jumping jacks. One more time, high knees. Butt kicks. And jumping jacks. Arm circles forward. And back. One at a time, forward. And back. Go ahead and do a few squats and reverse lunges, big step back and down. Finish up with a few push-ups on the ground and then we'll get started. Um, we are doing Tabata. Um, so I have a little app here that will beep at us and help us um, on when to go and when to rest. Um, like I said, it's going to be a lot of kickboxing movements and a lot of cardio, so um, you really don't need any equipment. So we will jump right into it. Um, our first movement will be jab, cross, jab, squat, and turn. Other side. Really focus on your form in that squat um, if your knees hurt. Just do a squat and then rotate or do a little pivot. Jab, cross, jab, squat, and turn instead of that jump. Um, really make sure to fully lengthen those arms. Focus on that form and that squat. Here we go. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four rounds. Five, three, two, go. And turn, right, left, right, squat, and turn, left, right, left. Rotate on those toes. Land nice and quietly. Good step taps. We don't want to completely rest here. We want to keep the heart rate up, keep moving. Again in three, two, go, same thing. Other arm should be up, protecting your face. Five, three, two, step taps. We have round three and five. Three, two, go. Get nice and low. Use that momentum to get nice and high in that jump. Five, two, step tap one more time. Five, three, two, go. Last time. seconds. Three, two, good. Grab some water. Keep moving. 
Next, we're just gonna do some side punches. So you're crossing your body and kind of pivoting on those toes. Actually, we're gonna do double time. So we're gonna do two punches. So one, two, one, two. All right, squeeze your core. You should feel it every time that you twist. Side punches in 10 seconds. Five, three, two, go, two, and two. Adding some movement to your feet. Fully extending those arms. Three, two, step tap. Five, three, two, go. Almost there. Five, three, two, step tap. If you need to, you can add some arms. Five, three, two, go, round three. Almost there, five, three, two, step tap, one more round of these. You should feel it in your arms, in your core, Three, two, go, last time. Ten seconds. Three, two, good, grab some water. Next, we're gonna do our jab and our jack. So you punch with your left, face the front, jumping jack. Punch with your right, face the front, jumping jack. Jab and jack. All right. Here we go, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, go, jab and jack. Keep your arms as straight as possible, even in the jumping jack. Five. Good, step tap. Again, if the bouncing hurts your knees, you can do a jab, half jack, all right? Three, two, go. Their arms up. Three, two, step tap, two more. Five, three, two, go. Good, step tap, one more. Five, three, two, go, jab and jack. Ten seconds. Grab some water. We'll keep going. <clears throat> Let's do 
um, some kicks. So we'll do a squat, quick kick forward, squat, alternating legs. It's really focused on your form and your squat. And then just kick that leg straight out from your knee. It doesn't have to be super high. Here we go, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, go. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Five, three, two, step taps. Make sure your feet are flexed in your kick. Three, two, go. Squeeze your core, focus on balance. You might wobble a little bit. Five, three, two, go. Step tap, two more. Five, Three, two, go. Ten seconds. Push your hips back. Make sure those knees aren't going over the toes in your squat. Step tap one more. Five. Three, two, go. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, good. Rest. Next, we'll do speed skaters. So just your basic speed skater. Get the heart rate up. Stay low, nice and quick. You can try to reach for the ground. If that doesn't feel right, then don't worry about it. Here we go, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, go. I don't have a lot of space here, but do my best. Five, three, two, step taps. Again in five, three, two, go. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, step tap. Three, two, go. Five, three, two, step tap. One more. Five, three, two, go. Ten seconds, keep it up. Three, two, good job. Oh. All right. Next, let's do um, 
some hooks. So we're gonna go whichever way you're facing, your back arm's coming around. So you go body, head. You're rotating on your back toes and you're going up and down. All right, squeeze that core. We're gonna do all four rounds on the same side and then next time we'll switch it up to the other side. All right, 10 seconds, body, head, hooks. Five, three, two, go, body, head. Other arms up. Ten. Five. Three. Two. Good. Stub tap. We're going to stay on this side. Five. Three. Two. Go. Good step tap. Two more on this side. Three, two, go. You should feel it in your core. You should be squeezing. Ten seconds. Five. Step tap, one more. Five, three, two, go. Ten seconds. Five. Good, take a little break. We'll switch to the other side. With your back arm coming around. Same thing. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, go. Rotate on your back toes. Again in five, three, two, go. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, step tap, two more. Next one will be speed bag arms with butt kicks. So you're doing butt kicks and you're your speed bag arms. Um, again, it's hard on your knees. 
step kick. Just make sure you keep those arms up. You should feel it in your shoulders and all throughout your arms. All right, here we go. 10 seconds, speed bag arms with butt kicks. Five, three, two, go. Doesn't matter what way you go with your arm. Maybe try to switch it up. 10 seconds. Three, two, step tail. Three, two, go. Five. Three, two, step tap. Oh, two more. Five, three, two, go. Five. Three, two, step to half, one more. Five, three, two, go. Keep those arms up. Ten seconds. one we'll do elbow elbow uppercut uppercut so you step back with your right leg it's a kind of a lunge and for more of a challenge it can be a lunge and then you take your right arm elbow switch elbow then you go into uppercuts over right under your chin upper upper so right left upper upper all right kind of got to think about this one after this, we'll start cooling down. 10 seconds. Again, for more of a challenge, you can get into a nice deep lunge when you step back. Three, two, go. Go at your own pace. Really try to get that elbow back, squeeze the shoulder blade, uppercut right under the chin. Three, Two, step tap. Three, go. This doesn't need to be fast. Three. Two, step tap. This is another one that you can engage your core to focus on balance, not wobbling. Three, two, go. Ten seconds. Almost there. Three. Two, good, step tap, one more, and then we'll start cooling down. Five, three, two, and go. Ten seconds. Two, good, grab some water if you need to. Do some step taps, get the heart rate down. When you're ready, you can bring that right arm across. Keep moving if you need to. 
go ahead and switch. Tricep shoulder. And switch. Arms in front. And behind you, open up the chest. Good, go ahead and do your hamstring stretch. So legs are straight, reaching towards the ground. Walk your hands to the right, try to get your nose to your knee. To the left. Back to center. Bring your feet together, hang there for a little bit. Keeping those legs straight. And when you're ready, roll up slowly. Good, quad stretch. If you need to hold on to something, go ahead and do that. Squeeze your core, your knees together. Swing that around to your number four. If you need a deeper stretch, you can reach your hands down to the ground. Other side, quad stretch. And number four. And a calf stretch, taking a big step back. Both feet flat on the ground, slight bend in both your knees, both toes facing forward. Switch it out when you're ready. And then you are all set. Good job. Have a good weekend.